there was this Monday morning practice that we had. It was 5.30 a.m. We were doing 1K repeats on the track and he really helped me and a couple of the other guys with our mental attitudes after each repeat, you'd say, this is easy, we enjoy this, this is fun. And that really helped me get through the workout. Isaac is a great teammate. He is always there for you if you need to ask him something. He's always hopping on the track ready for the next repeat. He's pushing ahead of everyone else. He's taking charge and leading the team. And I think that's something that's really great about him. Ooh, these are tough. They feel good though, you know. Just tell yourself, this is easy, we can do this all day, you know. Okay, here we go. Go! Hey guys, do the lap dude, come on, this is great. This is the last one. This lap dude doesn't exist. Oh, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I've been really impressed with Isaac's uh, leadership. A good leader by example, gets after it every workout, shares a lot of great knowledge with the, the other uh, boys. At times from the past, it really looks like he's still peaking, still has a lot of room to grow. 12 years as, as head coach, you've seen a lot of athletes. You've had Aiden Troutner, you know, national champion. You've had others that have run really well. Uh, tell me about Isaac, you know, in kind of comparison to some of these other athletes that you've coached. Yeah, so one thing about Isaac is he really loves the sport, which I think goes a long way, especially in distance running, right? Um, he loves the sport, he's a fan of the sport, he knows a lot about it, um, and also just uh, genetically, the kid's really gifted, right? I mean, you can't really beat natural talent plus a love for the sport, so I think the combination of those two things does him a lot of good. Uh, a little bit younger than some of the other seniors. What do you think about his potential for running in college? Boys just get better and stronger as they get older, um, and he has done that. I mean, from freshman to senior, even just from a few months ago to now, as he gets stronger, um, he's just going to keep getting better. All right. Okay, so this is a TV girls team. Uh, tell me what it's like running on the same team with Isaac. Isaac is a super hard worker. Like I feel like every workout, you know, he's always up there to try. Um, he's super encouraging as well. Really fun to run with. He's super fast too. Yeah, he's super fast. And he's really self-motivated. Like he, um, he just like self-driven. He doesn't have to has to have doesn't have to have like anyone telling him to keep going harder because he has that self-motivation. Isaac ran a 4.57 his freshman year, and coming into his sophomore year, he had a goal of 4.35. Isaac's very goal-driven. And I saw that especially during COVID shutdown, when all the track races were canceled, he couldn't practice with the team, and he got out every day and worked hard on his own training with that goal in mind. One of the things that he wanted to do as well is have time trials. And so I paced him for a time trial coming up, and he had just gotten his wisdom teeth out a couple weeks before. He didn't make any excuses, he said, no, I'm still going for this. Let's go out and do it. Okay, Isaac, what's happening today? We have the 1600 time trial. Sub 435 is the goal. <laughs> All right, any marks? Yeah, yeah. Bro. Go. Isaac has this way of rallying people and he has these things that motivate him and then uses them on the team as well. I've seen him before races and he'll just be like, all right guys, we don't get tired. Or, you know, some days it's, we don't feel pain. And he's just got these supporters. There, there are people that he has pulled into running and that are injured and they'll still come to all his races and they'll come to all his time trials and it's just he's just created this really fun culture of support and encouragement and mental toughness he listens to podcasts and you know does all this sports psychology stuff and you see him also sharing that with his teammates he still hadn't even broken 430 and he told me 
that he had set a goal to get 422 in the mile. And that was after working really hard and not even breaking 430. And I thought, wow, that's really hard. Does he know how hard that is? And I didn't say any of that. And he just was looking at me and then he said, it's okay if you don't believe in me. And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm not saying I don't believe in you. I just, you know, I know that's really hard. And he did it. He worked so hard and he broke 420 later that season in the beginning of the season he was struggling to break 430 he just he makes these gold these goals and he works hard Over the next few years, I'm going to run D1 NCAA for track and cross country. I'm also planning on an LDS mission either right out of high school or a year after that. Over COVID, it was tough to stay up with classes because I was taking some pretty challenging ones and we weren't able to go to school, so it was all online, but I was still able to maintain a 3.7 average GPA and I have taken uh, quite a few AP classes, one of them calculus. I want our team to qualify for state. I individually want to get top five in the state for 5A. Um, over track season, I really want the guys to do well, but me personally, I would like to break 414 in the mile at elevation or 410 in the mile at sea level. Tell me about any injuries you've had and how you came back from those. Um, I feel like I've always done a pretty good job about taking care of my injuries. When something starts to hurt, I will adjust either the amount that I'm running or where I'm running. I'll do more soft surface, like running on grass, for example. And if it gets bad, then I might cut a workout short. Over this summer, I was trying out a higher mileage and my lower back and my hip both got really tight which caused a bunch of stuff in my leg to get tight and it felt like it was going to get injured so I took a day off and cross trained and then cross trained for the rest of the week and slowly built back up my mileage from there. What are you looking for in a university? I would like to go to a university that is at a higher elevation. I have always run at a higher elevation and I've noticed that it has really pushed me. Um, I would like teammates who are talented and work hard that are going to be able to push me and a coach that is able to build a great team environment and is able to give us good workouts that help us to be the best athletes that we can and I would like great facilities that would will help us to recover and be the best athletes that we can. 